Okay, welcome back guys for video number two. We are going to split this belt. We're going to get right into it. If you've made it to video number two, you've already watched one, so I'm not going to give you a long introduction. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Q. We're going to bring up the logistics tree. And we've got some new items that will show as new until I mouse over them. We are going to split our conveyor. That's going to require iron plates and cables, both of which I have in my inventory. All right, so now all I have to do, put this nice and middle right about there. You'll see it snaps to the belt. I can also build it elsewhere, but it will snap to the belt, which is what I want to do. And now what it's going to do is it's going to split. Thankfully, it won't just toss iron out, but it's going to split that iron. Get up here. It's going to split that iron this way, this way, and that way. And that is obviously the way we want to go. So we're going to hit three for our conveyor belt. And we are going to connect it to our other producing station. So now it's splitting iron to the left and to center. And I could, if I want to, split it one more direction. I'll have to move this pole. But uh, for now, we only need it to go two directions. Looks like this thing is on standby. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot I did that. Let's turn that back on. All right, so now it's going to start producing again. Look at our iron going. It's like Factorio, but in 3D and with a lot of really cool options. Getting those pipes out. Getting those plates out. Well done. We still don't need more than one miner. This is pumping out more than enough iron for both of these. So we're just going to stick with our one miner for now. In fact, you'll notice it says there's 100 iron ore. So this thing is actually putting out way more iron than this smelter can handle. I can actually build a second smelter, which is what I'm going to do pretty soon. Let's check the biomass burner at 94. We'll add in some more biofuel. It is, ooh, it is right up against capacity, which means it is time to build a second bio burner. I'm gonna hit Q. We're gonna see what we need to build one. Ooh, luckily we have everything we need to build it, so we're just gonna go ahead and build it right next to this one. I like to keep all my burners right next to each other so I don't have to run around doing tasks to fill them up. All right, I put in those flowers, as I mentioned in the other video. And that power line is already full, but I'll bet you that one up there isn't. So we're going to make a sort of interim power line right there and connect to that one. Now, both of these bio burners are going to share the same power grid. Now you see my capacity is 60 megawatts. In fact, you can check your capacity on any one of the poles as well. So there we go, 60 megawatt capacity. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, freighter reentry complete. Oh, and my drone has come back in, so we can start researching the next milestone. Let me get started on that. Uh, let me see, do I have the man? No, that's that's going to be the next one. Okay, so base building, no, it should be field research. Yep, okay. So field research is going to unlock the man, the molecular analysis machine which researches technologies that will be very beneficial to us. So we're definitely going to do that one next. Some people might argue that base building is a good next one because it's pretty simple and it lets you organize your factories better. I would agree that that is a good one, but I think research is more important to start off. So we're going to select that milestone. It's going to require a bunch of wire and plates and screws, which is a new item that I have not explained to you yet, so we'll get to that. I'm going to keep our factory nice and clear. And this one should probably be packed full of wire at this point. 186, that's great. That's halfway there already. All right, so screws. Let me explain screws for you. So screws are also a single item ingredient, but they require iron pipes. So iron, excuse me, iron rods. I keep saying pipes. So, so the amount of iron rods I have, which is 62, comes out to 248 screws. And you'll notice it takes quite a bit longer to make the stack of screws. One reason is because there's four of them instead of one that you're making. Another is because it's, it's a next level ingredient. And as, like I said, as we go up, the ingredients are going to get more and more complex and they're going to require longer to craft. We're gonna go ahead and handcraft these because it's faster. And you'll notice on the top right where it says field research, 
I don't need iron rods for this level of research. So I have no need for these rods at the moment. I'm just going to burn through them and turn them into screws. Same goes for plates and wire. Excuse me. So let me get that pushed out there. And got it. Not quite enough to finish the milestone, but close. We're going to drop that in. Drop those plates in. Drop those in. Look at that. We're already halfway through our milestone. And the cool thing is, even though our factories aren't as fast as we are, they're working all the time. Grab that. And that. And our next stack of wires and some ingots. Looks like... Okay, so production is going well. It's splitting every other one. So our so right now we're pulling out just enough iron for these two constructors. Any more and we would need more iron. So we will be building another smelter and another constructor fairly soon. For now though, should should be good with what we got. We're gonna do those wires here. So we need about a hundred more, 98 specifically, so we're gonna build this until we get 98 wires. There it is. Drop those in there. There's our 300. Drop in some more plates. We're getting close to that. And we're going to make some more screws out of our iron rods. We need what looks like 52 more screws. Alright, yeah, that'll do. There we go. So those are done. All that's left is plates. We need another 30 or 29 plates, if I'm reading that right. We're almost there on the plates. Grab some of these. Anyway, so while we're waiting, we're going to need another smelter because we're going to need more iron soon for our next task, which is to make uh, a second set of pipes so that we can have screws coming out and just regular iron pipes or iron rods. God, I keep saying pipes. There are actually steel pipes, and I shouldn't confuse the two. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make that second smelter, see what we need for it. We need eight wire, but we have the iron rods. No problem. This guy is putting out wire like crazy. There's 56 of it already. And in goes the smelter. I'm going to turn that. Remember, you want the red. I'm pointing at my screen as if you can actually see that. You want the red or the orange, excuse me, you might think I'm colorblind. Uh, we want the orange side to be the receiving end, the blue side is the sending. So we'll put the smelter right there. We're going to do what we did earlier, which is split our conveyor. We're going to split it right about... Uh, there we go. I guess because there's a bend in the conveyor belt, it won't split there. And again, you don't want to build it this way because it requires concrete. You want to build it straight to the source because then it just requires the plates. There we go. Looking good. Now that ore you can see coming down the track. And all we got to do is configure the smelter to make iron ingots. We got to power it. So we're going to put a power line Eh. Right here, I guess. Wait, do we have a spare? No, we don't. Alright, so we'll put it right to here. Then we'll connect that power to that one. As long as it's connected to the grid as a whole, you're fine. You don't need to split grids. I did that my first run through, and I found it very annoying to keep track of which grid had how much power. I don't know if there's a maximum to how much a grid can handle, but I haven't reached it, and I was at 600 megawatts on my other game. Uh, also, uh, if you have a singular grid, you do run the risk of overloading it, uh, especially when you're running water and coal and stuff. If you overload it, you're not getting water to your coal, and you've completely screwed yourself. So there is an argument to be made for separate power grids. Personally, I don't do that because I'm responsible. All right, so it's making those iron ingots. While we do that, though, let's see if we're ready to finish this milestone. We've got 28. I think we need one more, matter of fact. Oh, no, I have 33 in my inventory. Okay, 
So let's finish this milestone and get to the MAM, which is a cool thing. There we go. By the way, you don't have to wait for your drone to go flying off into milestone space. Reached. You, the molecular analysis you get the machine object immediately. referred to as the MAM will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success to... Okay, we're going to skip that for now. Alright, so that's going to require reinforced plates. That's going to require wire, which we have, and uh, cables. So we're going to make more cables, which means we're going to need more wire in a second. Uh, oh, let's go and make wire, because I forgot I had a bunch of ingots on my person. I guess let's just make, I don't know, 100, I guess would be safe. Yeah, I got the hiccups. It's a good time to record a video while you got the hiccups. Okay, looking good. That should be good. Cables, here we go. Let's put out, I don't know, 30 cables just to have them. And the MAM requires reinforced plates. We need a total of 10. Those are made with actual iron plates and screws. Let's go ahead and make the screws really quick. This is where we're gonna start to build more stuff to produce screws and additional iron rods. For now though, we'll do it by hand just to get this done. Okay, come on, baby. I wish there was a button to make it craft faster for the purpose of training videos, but unfortunately there's not. There we go. Okay, so the plate's gonna require a whole bunch of plate plates, which I can make some here. Got some ingots on me. Reinforce iron plate two. We are gonna have to go grab more plates. Uh, what do I need? Ten, was it? Oh, I only need one more. Okay. Let's just go grab those plates. I'm told you can shoot that flying thing with a specific weapon later in the game. I've never gotten to that point, so I don't know. I don't want to shoot it. I think it looks kind of cool, like a man some kind of manta ray or stingray. Alright. One more plate will do. And here we go. So we're going to hit Q. We're gonna hit the MAM. MAM is very useful. Should be one of the first things you build. We're gonna put the MAM right here, close to our base. You always right click to back out of that screen. Okay, so now we can use the MAM. It does not require power. It's just, it just works. Uh, alien organisms. We're gonna research alien carpus. Okay, that lets me New turn the alien carpus into biomass. Um, well, it unlocks the New ability to learn how to turn it in into the mass. And then alien organs, which I haven't gathered any. Okay, so flower petals, as I was telling you earlier. Can't afford that. I threw them all away. That's okay. We'll come back and get those in a second. Nutrients. Yeah, we, let's do pale berries. Because I picked up some. Yeah, let's New do barrel object nuts. added to the object scanner. Okay. Don't worry about any of those. Those are not super important. They just make it so that it adds that item to the object scanner. The object scanner allows you to scan for food and different things that you need. Okay, so this next one, the mixture is going to require some late tier, tier 4 stuff. So for now, we're going to leave that be. Power slugs. This one's very important. Very important to the game. Click on that. We got that one power slug that you saw in the first video. We're going to research that. It's going to make power shards. What those do is they allow you to overclock anything you put them in. So, like, for example, you could put them in a biomass burner, and it will burn even more than before. Speaking of which, I'm guessing my things are probably out of power. My biomass burner probably ran out and shorted out. So let's go ahead and gather some sticks and stuff real quick. Sticks and stones. Hey, look at that. We got another slug right here. Don't mind if I do. This is the edge of the map. That's interesting. Uh, this is just in this most recent patch that they moved the player spawns. Player spawn used to be about middle of the map in an area I liked, but I guess developers did not like player spawning there for whatever reason. Hey, look, there's a... Ooh, cool, there's a tunnel down here. Or cave, not a tunnel. Well, let's take a little visit. Gather some shrooms. And there's a cave spider. That is freaking freaky. There's that alien organ. Jeez. Other one. 
those cave spiders and the uh, those little charging things that you saw me fighting earlier, those are pretty easy. They're not too tough, but there are tougher enemies in the game as you get further out. Thank you. Anyone else want a piece? Taking all comers. Oh, jeez. Ah! Ouch. I like how the game says your property was damaged. <laughs> You're just property to the game. Get over here. Where'd you go? Thank you. And thank you. Your sacrifice will be forgotten. Because nobody cares about you. Alright, do I have some mushrooms? Yes, mycelia. The mycelia within this now, fungus suggests strong molecular the, uh, bonding garbage features. TV show called Star Trek and Discovery. Medicine, both beneficial for field research. Shut up. If you watch the garbage TV show called Star Trek Discovery, you uh, probably already know what mycelia is, but uh, in this game it is useful for medicines and other stuff. Early in the game, it's useful for biomass, which is what we're going to do. Okay, so let's gather, gather, gather. By the way, the first time you gather something, you can research stuff connected to that item at the MAM. So you're going to find things like copper, sulfur, all sorts of interesting items around the map. Definitely collect them because it will unlock research trees for that item in your MAM, which you will, you will definitely want. There's a lot to do in this game. You can easily become distracted, which is kind of what I am right now. I'm in this cave instead of showing you guys how to do production. So let's go back up there. But anyway... um. Mycelia, very useful. We're going to use that and turn it into biomass. So I don't have to go collect a bunch of plants. Also, mycelia becomes fabric, which can be turned into parachutes, which will let you jump off of very high cliffs, which is really fun. Really, really fun. Is there anything down here? No? Yeah, hopefully they flesh out these caves a bit more. I mean, some of them are pretty cool, but other ones I've found on the map are completely empty, and I, I don't think there's any content built for them. All right, I'm going to grab these pale berries. These are health, after all. And up we go. So it's cool to know there's a, there's a tunnel right by our base. We will definitely come back to that. As far as I can tell, there's no weather in the game. Uh, it's just sunny. But again, this is pre-release, so maybe they'll be adding more in later. I don't know. All right, so the mycelia. Oh, we can't turn it into biomass until we research it. Let's turn this other crap into biomass because we're going to need it. I'm sure we're out of power at this point. From the looks of it, yeah, all my stuff is shut down. All right. Uh, go to the man, mycelia. Let's be turn it into biomass. Hip hip hooray. Now I can turn it into fabric. I might as well do that. Might as well do the research anyway. It's only three seconds. And I can also research the medical properties once I get some barrel nuts and I think it's called like bacon something. Bacon mushroom. Bacon agaric, yeah. go. Turning that mycelia into biomass. Excelente. Senors. Alright. Now we got biomass. Let's go get those power stations up and running so we can start the next part of this. More biomass for you. More biomass for you. Good, because your flower petals were almost out. And... Even more. Oh, never mind. Okay. We're good. Alright. Next up, we've got all this smelted iron. It needs to go somewhere. Now, there's a couple things we can do. We can merge the conduit with the existing one and put even more iron into this right here. Not really necessary, though. So instead, we're going to build more constructors. Let me just empty these out. Make sure logistics are still moving along. Tons of wire, that's good, we'll need that later. And you'll notice uh, gravity's a little bit lighter than Earth. Alright, so let's build our next constructor. Needs smart plates, okay. No problem. 
you got it. Or reinforced plates, sorry. Smart plates are later. Alright. Constructor. Oh, jeez. Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. You better run. Alright. Constructor. Turn that bad boy around. And we'll try to line it up with our other stuff. Perfect. And now we're going to take a conveyor belt, run it over to this, and our second smelter is now doing business. So we're going to go iron rods. So now we've got two making iron rods, right? Uh, let me put power on it first. That one's full. That one is not. So now we've got uh, two things making iron rods. Why are we doing that? Because screws, uh, as I will show you over here. Wait, get out of here. Get out of my base. You can kill those, by the way. It just takes a lot of hits. Uh, screws require iron rods. But if I make screws off of the existing factory, then I'm going to have no iron rods. They're all going to be converted into screws all the time. We don't want that. So we want one factory making iron rods, <clears throat> one making screws. Okay, so the constructor is going to require two more reinforced plates. Not a big deal. One. Two. Okay. Let's come over here so we have a better view. Can't afford... Oh, come on, man. Jeez. See, the, the higher we go up in stuff that we need and resources, the more time consuming it will become for us to make items. Alright, so cables. Let me just make a grip of these suckers so I don't have to keep doing this. Next up, we're going to do concrete production, by the way. Which, the game will teach you how to do that in the tutorial, but we'll do it anyway just to do it. Alright, 50 should do. There we go. Constructor. Constructors are really cheap. They're really great. And we're going to make it far enough away again so that if we have to, we can split the stack. Or split the conveyor, rather. There we go. This constructor is going to make screws, which requires one iron rod for every four screws. I'm going to connect that power. I'm going to make another power pole here. Connect it up to... This one, I think. Yep, good thing, because there's no more connections left for it. Alright, now let's check our power grid, make sure we're not overloading. Now we're still pretty good. But, what if I want to have more power, just in case? What I can do is I can overclock it. Uh, just so you're aware, your hub also has biomass burners, so you don't need to create biomass burners at the beginning of the game if you don't want to. I do because I, I like to have it in its own area. I don't really use these except for backup. So uh, you can use those though if you want to save some resources. Alright, so let's go here. And let's make a power shard. Remember we researched this in the man. What it does is it takes a power slug, makes one power shard. So that is crafted. Now I can go over to my biomass burner. Whee! Watch this. If you want to know how to do that, you sprint and then hit C and your guy will slide for a while. If you build a conveyor belt that goes downhill, you can slide down the whole thing. <laughs> it's really fun. Alright, so biomass burner. That one is more empty. Let's put it in this one just so I don't have to refill it for a while. Alright, so we're going to put the power shard in by double clicking. Oh shoot, I haven't researched overclocking. Dang it. Ah, oh, what do I need for that? Okay, power slugs, overclocking, that's a five minute research item. Sure, why not? We might as well start it. We'll do other stuff in the meantime. But yeah, I, I'm, that's my bad. I forgot to tell you guys, you gotta, you gotta research overclocking before you can actually use the slugs. Alright, so we're gonna configure this. Looks like it's doing good on the screws. Go ahead and grab those. Later on, we're gonna put these all in storage containers. But for now, we manually grab them because we're gonna use all these resources. 
All right, so up next, we got to research another milestone. Now we're getting close to being able to build the space elevator. Space elevator requires wire. It requires iron rods, iron plates, and concrete, which I, I'll go build some concrete in a minute here too. But uh, for now, let's see, what else do we need? Probably base building is next because part assembly, we don't need just yet. We'll need that after we build the space elevator. Obstacle clearing, a lot of people like to research this pretty early, which is understandable because you get a chainsaw and you can make solid biofuel, which is even better than the biofuel that we're using. Jump pads, not so needed in the early part of the game, but later on these will let you jump really, really far. Think of it like, uh, what is that game? Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, where it leaps you across parts of the map. Resource sync program, this is pretty cool for some little side uh, side technologies but is not entirely necessary it's more for later on when you have a lot of stuff that you don't need you can dump it into this thing and it will burn it and give you points logistics mk2 speeds up your conveyor belts gives you stackable conveyor poles so this is fairly useful later but again not so needed in the early days in fact i was going into tier 5 on another game and i still hadn't researched logistics too because i just didn't need it so, okay, uh, for now let's do base building, which uh, if you're OCD and you like all your buildings to match up is a absolute essential. There we go. I'm not going to put the resources in it just yet. We're going to pour them all in at once. In the meantime, let's go look for some limestone. We're going to make concrete, folks. Okay, 148 meters that way. That's good. Before I go there... Uh, do I have what I need for a miner? Miner, yes I do. And, okay, cool, then I can actually go there. How's our power grid looking, actually? Do I have enough power to hook a miner up? Uh, yeah, should be okay. Alright, now I believe it said the limestone was in this direction. Let's pick some plants on the way. This will be the last thing we do for this video. Uh, after which point we're going to build the space elevator for video number three. Okay. Limestone should be somewhere around here. Maybe I missed it. 59 meters. Okay. I don't think we've been over here, which means there's probably going to be aliens to fight. Ah, there it is. Oh, it's right behind our base. That's convenient. Yep, there's one. Bring it on, buddy. Where are you going? I'm not done with you. Gotcha. And do we have iron? Is this that impure iron? Oh, it's normal. Cool. Well, we can build a whole production setup here later on. Oh. gotten pretty good at killing those guys all right so let's set up the limestone right over here might as well grab some plants while we're out because we're going to turn all that into biomass even though we'll probably get more than enough from the alien carcasses that we just gathered okay minor time it's, it's a minor issue okay beautiful and Let's run some power. Does this one have any connections? Oh, sweet. Yes, I just saved myself a bunch of concrete by doing that. All right, so now the concrete miner is ready. Now we just need to get the conveyor belt going. Yeah, right about here should do... Actually, I don't even... Oh, jeez! Ouch. Yeah, it will go through the ground. I believe in a later patch they're going to make it so that you make tunnels through the ground so it doesn't look cheesy and just have your items just popping out of oblivion. But for now it'll work. And we need to construct that into uh, some concrete. So I gotta go get a couple more reinforced plates and then we'll be done for this video because we'll be pumping out concrete, screws, iron bars, end plates, basically everything we're going to need 
to build the elevator, which uh, is going to be the very beginning of the next video. So there's going to be a uh, gap of time between this video and the next one as far as in-game time goes. Alright, let's make some plates. That'll do, pig. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, almost made it. This one's also going to be about 30 minutes long. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to time these so you, you don't have to listen to my voice for longer than a 30 minute span. Okay. Let's put that constructor down. Right about here should be fine. Beautiful. There it goes through my invisible nothingness of the wall. Thank you, game weirdness that hasn't been patched yet. And oh, we gotta turn this into concrete, and we've got to power this up. Now there's only one more connection left on the pole. The responsible thing to do, of course, would be to make another pole and connect that. We always want to make sure we have extra connections to run. And there it goes, making its concrete. It's gonna start pumping those out slowly but surely. And I think that's it for the video because that's going to take about 20 minutes to get all the concrete that I need. I do have enough plates and iron bars. Oh yeah, you know what? Let me show you overclocking real quick before we end this. It'll be a little bit longer than 30 minutes. Alright, there we go. Let's go, let's go, charge. And, alright, it's finished the overclock research. Buildings can now be overclocked with the use of power shards. I go to alien organisms. Oh, you know what? I can research this now that I've gathered enough of these from those little spiders. Don't mind if I do. And I'll do biomass. There we go. I can also learn inflated pockets with a whole bunch of wire and more of that alien crap. I can learn an inhaler with mycelia and more of that alien crap and frames. We'll learn those later. And object scanner, that's going to be a little ways. Uh, staters take a while. And I can't do that one. Okay, cool. So flower petals, mycelia. Uh, I think we are all caught up. There's nothing I can learn at the moment. Power slugs. Uh, slug scanning. Oh, I can scan for them. Yeah, I'll do that later. Anyway, to save you time, I'm not going to worry about that. Now we can make a power shard. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We already did. We overclocked, didn't didn't we? Okay. There it is right there. And um, is there anything else? Let's plug in this. There we go. Oh, just short. <laughs> there we go. And then concrete will be last but not least. When I start the next video, that will have been already researched. You don't need to watch me struggle to finish that research because that concrete is going to take a while. But we are going to overclock real quick so you can see it. Alright, so using this power shard that we've crafted, this guy right here, we are going to overclock our biomass burner. Currently, it can produce 30 megawatts. If I double click my power shard and put it in there, it still is only producing 30, but I can drag this guy down here and it's producing at 150%. So after it's it goes, now it produces 41 megawatts, so 66% efficiency compared to what it could be doing. Not bad. Now we're producing even more power for the grid. And everything's good. Okay, that is it. I'm going to end the video right here. I'll be back after I finish the base building technology, which is very important for when we start using structures that require multiple ingredients. When they're using multiple ingredients, it just becomes kind of a mess when stuff is all over the place. So it's nice to be able to build platforms to build everything on, and it just looks really cool for screenshots to show all your friends and make them want to buy the game. Or don't, you know, it's up to you. Alright guys, see ya.